Hi Aquarius, happy March. I hope you're doing well. Okay. All right, guys, your messages. Um, some of you, I think you're dealing with immigration. I think you're dealing with something with the government. Um, it can be in reference to schooling too. Um, it could, I, I briefly went through the cards, but your messages are, um, I think someone might be going through a bout of depression here. And I think it's, I think someone may be involved also in a relationship with someone from a different country. I think there's a vast age difference also. And I think maybe there's issues with immigration papers. You're trying to pull something together um, and it's giving you a little bit of a run for your money here. Um, I think for some of you, there's disappointment in a relationship for sure. Um, some of you, I think you just had a horrific date. Um, for some of you, I think that dating versus relationships. I think there's people here that are um, opportunities for the moment. Okay, know the difference if you're not sure if you really are taking a liking to someone. I'll show you the cards, but the one of your messages, it kind of it runs front and center here. But I've got also cards that speak of marriage here. OK, but I think there is a. Um, I think there's either a friendship or or I think a friendship may have turned into a love relationship. But I think that this person is at a distance and I think there is a vast age difference here. Um, or different backgrounds, or some, there's something very different about the energies here. Um, I think there's legal problems. Again, I think that that surrounds, um, I think that that may surround uh, papers, pa uh, travel papers, or school papers, or, or some kind of documentation here that you're looking to get um, that you need either for school from, an, you know, maybe you're going to school in another country, or, or you need paperwork or something is, is tied there. Um, for some of you, I think that you are in relationships that are suffocating you. And for others of you, I think you get worry, worrisome news here. Maybe someone, maybe you, you're, you're having a problem with the, or, or hiccups with documentation. Or either way, I think you, you may get uh, worrisome news here. But I think that in the long run, I really think that you'll see that it was a faded event, how this turned out. Now, I can't tell really how that's going to go and, and how that plays into your to your life. But but we'll pick it out here. It's funny because. Um, we really don't have any cup cards in here except for the magician, and that's because there's a cup on his table, but. It could be working too but there's a lot about relationships in here and I don't feel that it's work related that's different energy this is more like or it's or it's something that's really the life has been sucked right out of it due to like a waiting game or something like that okay we come in with the energy of the page of coins oh okay and under it we have the four of cups which can be a card of waiting and we've got the three and the two and here's our cup. <laughs> and here's our other cup. Oh boy. And here's this cup too. All right. And here's your legal paperwork. All right. Ooh. Well, there's the story. The end. All right. So there, I guess we have that story there. Okay. There you go on that. But for the rest of us, here's our cards. We've got the what that really meant. What that says to me is it is a relationship, right? But it's it's hindered here by either the courts, uh, documentations. You're either maybe not able to get a marriage license because you've got two cards here, two tens that speak of a marriage, right? So it could be something like that too. But we'll see. I'm going to need clarifiers for this reading. We come in with the magician and the empress, right? This combination, too, speaks of either an age difference, some kind of background difference, uh, ethnicity. Something is different here. Something is different. Um, I'm 
for some of you too, I think that the real problem might be here too. Not, not that it's a problem, so to speak like that, but I think that someone, you may have gotten pregnant, now you're having the child, and there may be a problem around legalities somehow. I don't know. It might be something like that. Okay. Um, all right. In the past, we've got <laughs> our Knight of Wands, right? He's our, our good time Charlie. So maybe that's why one of your messages was you might be dating and the person is, um, if you're just dating, right? If you're just dating, there's a difference between dating and looking to get into a, but either way, on the road to, you know, maybe this person is is someone, you know, that that gets you out of isolation because there's a there's a card here, too, of wanting to be of, of I'm sorry, not wanting to be of, of being lonely, of being, uh, you know, isolated or whatever. Right. This is this would be he would be good time. Charlie, you'd have fun with this person, but they're not going to stick around. So for some of you, maybe this is the person for right now. It's not your forever person, but it's the person that gets you out of the house so maybe you meet your forever person, right? Could be something like that. Be in the moment, guys. If you're in relationships that are working in the now, be in the now and only worry about the now. Let tomorrow bring its own set of surprises, right? So, all right. Now, where we're anchor or um what we're crowning with is the 10 of swords. Right? Don't panic. Let me take a look at this. Um Where we're anchored is the Four of Swords. This, I think, is someone feeling very, ugh, you know, like very not, you know, it could be, though, it, it could speak of um, like real depression, you know, like real, real depression. Um, now, coming up for us, we've got the Six of Wands, which is a victory card. It's a small victory. Small. So there's movement here. OK, for some of you, you may be looking to get employment with a law agency or the government or something like that. That may be what, you know, you're looking for, too, and it maybe didn't fall through. So you're kind of disappointed about that. OK, now uh, how you show up here um, is the star card. Again, I think this is a card. It's a destiny card. It's it, keep hope here. And that. Hope is a small little bit of this card. There's destiny in this card. There's, there's, uh, there's so much in this card. It, it is though a card of, um, like it's all come together and now that's why this is, it's a card that's usually bigger than life because it's a, it's a card that, that shows you that Things come bigger and grander and better than we could have ever imagined. And that's what I think. I think you you may think you're defeated, but you're really not here. Okay? Now, your external, uh, your reputation, you've got the eight of coins. This can mean that it's going to take a little bit. It's going to take some work. Okay? It can also mean that you're changing jobs, right? And you're 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 changing jobs to something that you really enjoy. And it can be in the legal system, right? It can be something like that too. All right. The good, uh, it gets better. Hang on. Because in your hopes and fears, you've got the 10 of coins. Okay. Now you've got two tens. Two tens do speak of a wedding, but this is like clearly something needs to give here. You know what I mean? These are not, this is tangible, right? This is also a crazy family dynamic, you know, and this is like, I can't deal with it. You know, it, it could be something like that. It can be, it can be something like that. Right. Now the outbound card, you've got the five of coins, right? Which I think, I think you've got cards here where you're really feeling low. You're not in a, you're not in a really great spot right now is what that could be. Um, but let me pull some clarifiers here. Let me look through these again here. Oh, okay. And we've got the fool card, right? Oy. But here comes Cuckoo Bird here, right? Another message. See, at the last minute, though, this message may come through. And it may be like, you know, it may it may speed through when you think all is done because it sits right under the, the Fool card, right? So things change. That's my point. Let things unfold organically. They may surprise you in ways that are bigger and better and brighter than you could have ever imagined, right? There you go. 
who's to say, right? Say you're in a relationship and you're having a problem with something, right? Like something's just not coming together. Like I just want to be with this person, but they're from somewhere else and we just can't get documentation. Here comes, you know, the king of wands. This may be someone and he comes in right before the fool card, right? Rushes in. This is romance. This is a rendezvous. Here's the world card, right? I'm telling you guys, if something's not working out in a relationship, release all of this. Uh, if you're if you're depressed about it, release release the depression around it. If you can, I'm not talking clinical depression, but if you can get if you can get back on your your feet right now. Realize that sometimes the things that we're really fighting for the universe is if we're hitting resistance, it's not meant for us, really. And you think, well, the universe could never send me someone better than this person because this person is the person I'm supposed to be with for the rest of my life. I know they're my twin flame. I know they're my this. I know they're my that. You would be pleasantly surprised at how wrong you probably are, honestly. And I say that because that is the feeling I get in here. Something is not coming together for a very good reason. You may not see it now. You clearly don't see it now, right? You're in a not wonderful spot right now, but but you 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 want to you want to get back on the horse. You want to get out and re-engage in life again, right? Look, like I say, it's a small victory, but this victory may be, you know what? I'm repeating the same mistake that, uh, you know, this person that I would have married is exactly like the crazy dynamic that's going on, you know, and I would have ended up marrying like seventh house stuff sometimes when we turn around and we're like, oh, it looks lovely. But you know what? I married one of my parents and I swore I would never get in that kind of relationship. That's what can happen. Right. So let the universe surprise you. Let it show you. OK, that's what I think is happening here, guys. <laughs> I know you don't think this is a good reading now and I get it. Right. But I assure you, when the sun comes back out, you'll be like, oh, thank. Thank whoever. Thank the good Lord. Thank, you know, whoever. Thank you, universe. Thank you, guides. Thank you, angels. Because this person is much better than than I could have ever imagined. And had I. You know, it, it's it's in hindsight, it's realizing that, wow, you know, I dodged a bullet there. So that's what I think is going on. I don't think this is a negative reading. I think you're not happy about it right now, but I think that things are going to change for you. I really do. Give me a minute. I really do. Let this unfold for you. I assure you what the universe has in alignment for you is much better than you think you can tailor make things. Really. Okay. So there you go. Thank you so much. If you need a private reading, we can look at this or anything else. Okay. Just reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to help you with anything. Okay. Thank you so much.